now for the Crocker Wheeler. Also a 1 -sixth horsepower, 115 volt. The Century motor, I forgot to say, takes 1.7 amps. This one is 1.75. Guess a different era. Slightly less efficient. Pretty close, though. My grandpa never let me play with this one. Probably a good thing. I've put that Century through a lot of paces. But, uh, good this one was preserved for me. This is the first time I've ever seen this one run. It was all gummed up. I cleaned up the bearings, adjusted the brushes. It's had some repairs done to it with the switch and the wiring going to the field windings. And uh, it's not done correctly, so it only has one speed, whereas it's apparent it's supposed to have, oh, maybe two or even three. But uh, anyway, here we go. We'll plug that one into our aforementioned DC power supply. We get about 115 volts with the nine car batteries in series. <laughs> Starts right up and runs great. Can't figure out why the vast majority of the noise is coming from this brush. <laughs> you can hear how quiet the other brush is. Yeah, only touch one at a time. <laughs> Not that stupid. <sighs> anyway, this one's got a patent date of 1891. I don't know when it was actually built. Obviously sometime after that. The Century doesn't have any patent dates on it. Anyway, fun with direct current for today. <laughs>